Hello, my name is Chase Haven, and this is going to be a tutorial on how to use GarageBand and how to use the tools provided within GarageBand to make a little song. And to start off with, you just kind of want to open GarageBand, and this is what you're going to get. And you'll have this piano here, and for the purposes of this, tutorial you won't be using it but you can use it for a lot of other things like you can just play it for instance by pressing the keys and you can like record those and then you can change them in different ways but that's a little above what I'm going to be teaching today so I'm just gonna click X to get rid of it and so now you're kind of at the main kind of screen here and there's a lot of different stuff going on. So here, I didn't really use this too much, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. This will just tell you kind of what things are if you, it's just information. And these I really didn't use all that much. Here is where like you'll add in different loops, which I'll get to and you can change the volume of a loop here if you want it a little quieter a little, or a little softer and here you can change it so that it'll um, if you're wearing headphones it'll play more in the left ear or the right ear and here is where you can or I'll get to those in a second when I add in some loops here, I'll start here, I'll go here a second this is like the metronome and it's going to do a constant ticking on each kind of beat and so it kind of gets in the way sort of unless you it helps you I would recommend turning it off and then just leave that option selected and here this is going to tell you kind of what this is going to tell you what beat you're on and this can tell you how much just different things this is important right here if you want your overall tempo to be faster you can bump that up and all of your song will play faster. A, a mistake that I made is that originally I wanted my song to be three minutes long but and so I thought that this would be in seconds but really it's actually it's really actually going to end up about two seconds per bar and er half a second per bar hmm well cuz I ended up with six minutes and so I had a hundred and eighty so yeah it just you end up, you end up just want to have that sort of for the amount of time that you want to utilize in or that you want your song to be here is well I think probably at this point get to the loops but first I'll just show you this if you wanted to add in any, any sounds or sound effects that you already had then you can come here and you can browse for them and here's actually where the loops come in so this is kind of like the this was like the center of what I was using to make my song and there's just all these different like pre-made sort of sections of music that you can combine to create some pretty neat stuff if you listen and use stuff that's actually going to work together and it's just not a bunch of noise so I'm just gonna pull in a couple and see if I can get them to work well together um, I'll try a guitar maybe and I'll pick a modern rock guitar I kinda like it and you don't drag it here but you can create a whole new track based off of the loop that you just added in and I recommend kind of doing that you're always going to kind of want to add a new track because it helps kind of separate things out and plus it helps so that you can like so you can have song have like loops on top of loops like multiple loops playing at the same time which I'll show in a second and if you just kind of run them together it's just kind of gets disorganized and it doesn't really work. And so now I'll, sh I'll just play this real quick. So 
yeah. And then if say, and that's just that's really kind of short. It's only about it's not too terribly long. So if you wanted to make it longer or like double it, you would just wait for this little symbol to appear and then drag it out. And say I didn't say that I only wanted a section of this, then I would go a little farther and wait for that symbol to appear, and then I would just drag it down. So and then it would only play this much. And if you loop it then, it's only going to play that. And if you loop it from what you've cut off, then it's only going to play that certain portion. So you just kind of have to be aware of that, I guess. See, that's probably not going to be something that you're really going to desire. So I'm going to bring that, I'm going to reset that back up. And then I'm just going to... Let's think about this. We could just add a base in. Let's think about this. Now oh, this one's kind of fun. It probably doesn't work too well, but I'll just throw it in there. And I'll loop this actually first. And then I'll put this one starting on the second time, second go around. So this is kind of the kind of the thing you want to do if you're going to have multiple sounds gonna play, is what I was Oops, got an email from my dad. And so this is kind of what you're going to want to do to, um, just so you can play multiple sounds together. And so now if we play it, I'll just I'll start from the beginning. And by the way, I'm hitting space bar to play it. So yeah, those two really don't work well together, but. It's really what you kind of like to hear. I mean, I don't like that, but I mean, you might like it, or you might think it sounds good. But it's really kind of just you have to kind of play around with it and look through all of these and kind of find the ones that you think work together and that you what you want to make your project. And so, and then it really helps out over here too. Like with the volume, you can change it so that this might be this is probably a little too loud compared to that, or this is a little too soft, and you could change that accordingly and here say you're like really far out like you're all the way over here this button here will take you all the way back and these buttons here will just take you back one section you could also record your you could also record like I didn't get really too much in the recording so I probably I probably shouldn't get into that much but Anyway, so yeah, that's a lot of it, is just kind of making sure you get the right songs you need, or the right loops you need, and just combine together in the right ways you think. And then just and making them longer, or making them shorter, and just doing whatever you need to do to make it the product that you want. And that's about, and that's most of what I did in mine. So, yeah, I think that's about it. This is Chase Hoppin, and this has been a tutorial on making a song using GarageBand. Uh, thanks, see you later. One thing that I probably should mention is how to actually export your finished product. And so it's really easy. You just go up to Share on your menu up here. And you just go export song to disk. And that'll make an MP. And you, when you do that, then you can choose what, which one you want. And then I recommend probably just doing an MP3 file because it's pretty compatible with a lot of things. And you just name it wherever you want. And so, yeah. And I suppose you could do your song to iTunes. But for my purposes, exporting the song to the disk was a lot easier for me. So, yeah. All right. Thanks again. Bye.